Hey, how's it hanging? It's Eugene here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And in today's video, we will be once again talking about the great game that has Red Dead Online. I will be focusing on a new Naturalist role update that came out almost exactly a month ago at the time of recording this, and talk about whether the game is worth getting back into since I also quit playing the game about five months ago. It's just clearly very entertaining without any updates for eight months. First off, I will be talking about the main theme of the Naturalist update, which is surprisingly the naturalist role. You have to pay 25 gold bars to buy some stupid small book from a mentally unstable animal living woman to play the role. Worst purchase ever. Then being as courteous as she is, this lady proceeds to pepper spray me in the face for no reason whatsoever and leave me in the middle of the forest right after I bought a book from her for 25 gold bars. Nice. We're off to a great start. So. To make money and progress through the naturalist rule, you have to buy some 22 dot sedative rounds from this chick and wander around looking for animals, and proceed to repeatedly spam them with these rounds until they pass out. And then carefully extract some fluids from the body and sell it to the lady. Despite the try-hard animal rights activist that this lady is, I can't help but feel that the task she's put me up to is animal cruelty, but I don't care as I enjoy killing animals. What? Also, I can't help but feel that this is very hard to hit these running animals using free aim with mouse and PC. I don't know. Or maybe I should just shut up, stop crying, and get good, as some might say. The pay on this roll is, uh, well, just let's just say it's not as good as the other rolls like the Moonshiner. So if you're looking to make some big dollar signs with this roll, just don't even try. Or alternatively, you can not buy the stupid book and kill every animal in sight and sell it to this fat man named Gus for some cool clothing, I guess. Aside from a few new weapons and the new naturalist roll items, that's about it for this update. I like how the very trustworthy site as Polygon said that this was Red Dead Online's biggest update ever. But they are very clearly in the right here and no further comment from me. But... This update did do wonders for me though. Not sure if it's just me or for everyone, but for the three hours I've played after this update came out, the game has not crashed a single time and neither did it disconnect me at all. It truly is amazing and surprisingly very playable, without your blood pressure spiking every two minutes. Still, I'm not sure if it's just me or for everyone, as I still see a lot of people who are complaining about it on my other video. Maybe I've just been very lucky. So, in conclusion, I give this lady in the naturalist role a uh, uh, 3 out of 10. Okay, the naturalist role, excluding the lady, maybe a 4 out of 10. And the entire update, a 5 out of 10, because I stopped getting disconnected every 2 seconds. Thank god I don't have to look at this bloody screen anymore. Anyways, thanks for watching, I love you all.